The Bupai Colombo probe will be delayed. It's all due to propulsion problems. The Bupai Colombo probe, sent to Mercury's orbit by ESA and JAXA, suffered a failure in April that prevented its engines from operating at full power. The cause of the problem remains unclear, but it is clear that the probe will be delayed. The Bupai Colombo probe was launched into space in October 2018. The mission's goal is to study Mercury in detail which could also provide more information about how the solar system formed. Engineers took a rather complicated route to the smallest planet in the system, which included nine flybys of the planets, one by Earth, two by Venus and six by Mercury. All this in order to safely enter the planet's weak gravitational field. If this had not worked, Papai Colombo would have inevitably met its end, burned by the Sunday. As Papai Colombo approaches the Sun, the strong gravitational pull of our star accelerates the spacecraft. What's more, the probe took off from Earth with a lot of energy, traveling far too fast to enter orbit around Mercury. Overcoming these obstacles would be extremely difficult using onboard engines alone. That's why Papai Colombo uses gravity assists, which change speed or direction using the planet's gravitational fields to slow down enough to eventually enter orbit around Mercury. The original plan was for Bupai Colombo to enter Mercury's orbit by the end of 2025 using these gravity assists. However, problems with the propulsion system have caused the probe's route to be changed. Bupai Colombo has already flown past Earth and Venus, and today, September 4, 2024, is scheduled for its fourth close flyby of Mercury. The new trajectory predicts that the probe will come within 165 km of Mercury's surface. That's 35 km closer than originally planned. This flyby will reduce the spacecraft's speed and change its direction. It will also provide an opportunity to test scientific instruments mounted on the probe and study the interactions between the solar wind and the planet's magnetic field. Mercury, although known to humanity since ancient times, is one of the least explored planets in our planetary system. It is the smallest planet in the system and orbits closest to the Sunday. Its surface with numerous impact craters resembles our moon. The temperature on the surface oscillates between minus 173 degrees Celsius and 427 degrees Celsius. The planet has no natural satellites. Mercury has only been visited by two Earth probes so far. Therefore, Compared to other planets in the solar system, we know relatively little about this planet. It was first studied by the Mariner 10 probe, which mapped 45% of the planet's surface in 1974-1975. The next encounter with Mercury took place only in 2008. The Messenger probe mapped successive white spots on its surface during three close approaches to the planet, which resulted in 98% of Mercury's surface. Mercury holds several secrets from us. Scientists have been puzzled for years by the planet's surprisingly high density. In addition, Mercury has its own magnetic field, being the only rocky planet in our solar system apart from Earth. The name Bupai Colombo comes from one of the scientists working on the Mariner 10 mission Professor Giuseppe Bupai Colombo. It is to him that we owe the gravity assist maneuver used by the probe. The Bupai Colombo mission is the third mission to Mercury and the first one not carried out by NASA. The mission was originally supposed to launch in July 2014. However, due to delays related to technical issues and, as a result, further ones related to selecting the appropriate flight trajectory, the launch of Bupai Colombo was postponed several times. The probe consists of a main module and two orbiters. The first one Mercury Planetary Orbiter, MPO, is to study the planet. It was built on behalf of ESA and contains 11 scientific instruments. The second one Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter, MMO, is to be used to study Mercury's magnetosphere. It was built by engineers from JAXA. The main module, the so-called Transfer Module Mercury Transfer Module, MTM, for which ESA is responsible is the basic part of the ship to which both orbiters are attached for the duration of the flight. Due to budget constraints, the lander, 
which was to be built by the Russians, was abandoned. Scientists from the Space Research Center of the Polish Academy of Sciences were involved in the work on one of the elements of the MIRTIS, Mercury Radiometer and Thermal Infrared Imaging Spectrometer, Infrared Spectrometer Subsystem, which will be used to create a map of the surface mineralogy. Our scientists worked on a system that determines the direction of measurement. Its setting determines what the spectrometer looks at. The mission is tasked with studying the structure, topography, and geology of Mercury. It will also study the dynamics and composition of the exosphere and analyze the structure and dynamics of the planet's magnetic field. Surface mapping will also be completed. The orbiters will also search for water ice, which was reported by the messenger probe. But where does the ice come from on Mercury? So close to the sun? Well, the low intensity of Mercury's rotation axis means that the sun's rays never reach the interior of the impact craters, which are located at the planet's poles. There may also be ice deposits there. The conditions around Mercury are extreme. The Japanese orbiter will rotate around its own axis 15 times per minute to avoid grilling. In turn, the European machine has been wrapped in a special multi-layer blanket and has a heater installed in case it freezes. This is because on one side of the planet temperatures reach around 450 degrees Celsius, and on the other minus 180 degrees Celsius. The probes will move between these regions in a matter of minutes, and all instruments must be operational. The mission is expected to last two years from the moment it reaches its destination. Although, as with many missions, its duration may be extended depending on the technical condition of the equipment. After completion, the orbiters will be crashed onto the planet's surface. On April 26, as the probe was preparing for a braking maneuver during a flyby of Mercury, mission managers discovered a power drop. In less than two weeks, operators restored 90% of the thrust, but the cause of the problem remains unclear. The ion drive which uses electricity from the ship's solar panels to accelerate ions and generate a constant, weak thrust, has still not regained full power. Engineers have identified unexpected electrical currents between the solar panels and the unit responsible for collecting energy and distributing it to the rest of the spacecraft. It is already known that problems with the propulsion system have forced a change in the flight trajectory, which includes a lower thrust, which will delay reaching Mercury's orbit. The mission managers are convinced that the scientific goals of the mission will not be disrupted by this. The new trajectory assumes approaching the planet to a distance of 165 km from the surface during the fourth flyby. The scientists intend to make the most of the research opportunity and launch 10 of the mission's 16 instruments. We can fly our world-class science laboratory through diverse and unexplored parts of Mercury's environment, which we will not have access to once we are in orbit said Johannes Benkhoff, who is involved in the mission. The new trajectory predicts that the probe will enter Mercury's orbit in November 2026.